Dude. Right, uh, we're going to go shoot some deer because the boys saw a couple flying in. Josh is actually going to guide us because no one else saw them heated. So we're going to go down and shoot a deer, then back up, and then hopefully we'll be able to go down at night and shoot a couple more. That's the plan anyway. Not sent the clearings up too much and double whammy. So we've got a we've got a deer virgin here, actually Tom from Manchester. He's I don't even think he's even seen a deer. He's he's a big city, big city lad. So yeah, a bit of luck we'll um get him eating some raw heart soon. I see uh, some bugger's been up here and stolen my hammer and my traps. Orange handled hammer and a bunch of possum traps. We've had him stashed up here and they were right there and they're bloody gone. Deer prints for Africa up here. 300 meters downstream is where the other two deer were in those clearings, but we might see one along the bush edge up here with a bit of luck. I don't really know what to do. The wind's blowing across the clearings. If we go down and peg the other ones, then we'll possibly ruin all this end of the clearings. And it's still early in the afternoon. I don't know, I'll let the boys decide if they want to go down and peg those ones. We'll go back to camp and come back later on and peg some at this end of the clearing. There's plenty of deer sign around, so yeah, the world's our oyster at the moment. We're just going to book it down the bottom clearing and see if we can shoot one of those yearlings. Now we're just on the bush edge on the outside of this creek, so we're going to post up at these trees and see if we can pick them up. Reasonably long shot, 300, 400 metres maybe. Then we're going to book it back to camp and come back when it's dark because it's still mid-afternoon. The deer are over there but they're in that scrub we can't see them so. Boys seen a goose coming down here, so we're going to send stag in to steal one of its eggs. Should be a bit of entertainment. Ready? Can you accept the challenge? We're going to get a bloody goose. Challenge accepted. But I'm going to put the bloody low box hubs on. <laughs> Oh, the goose has done run on offed. We thought it was on eggs here, but it was just hanging out. Oh well, back to camp for a cup of tea and some dinner, I guess. Bit of a wild goose chase there. Go back later on and shoot one. Round two. This time we're gonna start shooting. If we don't see any deer, we'll just shoot possums on the way back up. But hopefully we didn't <laughs> fuck it before by walking down there. The other boys doing upstream. Actually, when we were walking down before, Steve saw a couple of deer just over there. He didn't have a gun, so... Right, back on the job, back down the river. Turns out Nick doesn't actually know how to wear a merkin properly and he's put it on his head. <laughs> None of the boys have been game enough to tell him that's not actually where it goes. It's a Mexican Merkin. How many have we got? One, two, two, four, six, eight. Eight of us stomping down the clearing. It's going to be a miracle if we see any. I reckon we will. I reckon we'll see a bunch of yearlings and there'll just be gun smoke and bullets going everywhere. Josh is up fishing. He's determined to catch a fish. This, they've pegged us, don't move boys. One's pegged us. It's 
Sweet. We've had to crawl across to behind this patch of trees here so we can sneak closer because they're still over 300 metres away. We haven't heard any shots, but we've been hearing work in the clearings below us. You don't always hear the shots from the machine, no, sometimes you just hear the machine. So hopefully he comes and sees our torches before he fucks all these clearings. Um, just heard two shots, so he's pegged a couple on the clearings just downstream, which we're going to go hunt next, which is a bastard. No, I don't know who that is. Oh, I'm glad we smoked that deer. He was so <laughs> close to cutting our lawns. He's probably going to go up, fly right over our camp. Still left. He's seen us, he's for sure he's seen that lights flashing. Definitely. Fucking hell. What a guy. We should actually run over there and grab one of the deer that he shot over there, just for a laugh. <laughs> Does he ruin Christmas, eh? Hey? I bet those other guys upstream are just lining up on a deer too when he rolls up the valley. Oh, that'll be gold. <laughs> I think it's, um, it's hard enough to be able to get it treated. So it's actually a trophy. We just shot a trophy in December. What are the chances? Like a reindeer. Three on the top on one side. Mean. Bloody winds blowing. It's heading around here and blowing straight across into the clearing. So we're going to go across and then we'll be able to see up the river. We can pick one up there. Fucking helicopter's coming back again. He must have been hunting the headwaters. He's got a couple under the shot. He might have shot a couple here too. We did hear some shots. Wet boots and shit as. We just got busted. There was two, two deer up here. I think they were old hinds. We bumped another one walking up the clearings, but we didn't see it. It was just in the bush edge, and we've come to the edge of the clearings now. So, turn around back to camp. Bloody helicopter at the top end. I oh, know we go to the next clearings downstream, but he shot a couple on those ones. So, yes. Oh well, at least we've got one pretty good valve stag. Always upstream might have done all right too. I don't know. The wind was blowing up as they left, so, yeah. Mm. There was, there was a few there. <laughs> Good work boys. Where did your moustache go? You still got it? No, uh, it fucking fell off. Oh, it fell off. You'll get that, eh? you get that with the big jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Throw one of the titties on there, that'll get it humming. No, I need them. I need them for tonight. I can't carry deer half no. not.
we were just talking with Dave, and uh, Dave, how old are you, 79? 79 years old, and I was asking him about when he grew up in Rotoya, actually, up on the east coast of North Island, and uh, tell us about the saddles. You go to the movies, you got to go in there, instead yeah. of sitting on the seat, you go in there with your saddle, and sit in your saddle, otherwise they'll flog it. So, the horse is alright, they flog the horse, but the horse will always come off. And so I was telling me I used to bike to school when I was a kid. They didn't have bikes. They had a horse or they walked. If you had a horse, you were high rolling. It was like that, yeah, mate. And uh, yeah, but that's quite interesting. Back in the, and he was saying how the car wide, there was so many, you could just scoop them out of the water. You could just go down and flick them up onto the bank. Didn't even need a fishing rod. Just It was just loaded, eh? Loaded. Loaded, snappy yeah, everywhere. and run like white bank. A lot of, uh, <laughs> running like white bait, there you go, you could walk across the river on the kawa and it's interesting because people say, oh the kawa are coming back and it's better, they're better than they've ever been and the snapper fishing's better than it's ever been, it's, maybe it's the best that's been in the last 20 years but not historically, you know, the fishing all over the world is going downhill, it's a, it's a real worry, we just hope that um, the, my grandkids get to experience it as well, so... Yes, bit of a worry, but geez, what a beautiful evening. I just saw a couple of deer before down those clearings, but as soon as they saw the drone, they bloody run off, I guess, because the chop was up here hounding them last night. So we're just going to wait till the sun's off the top of the hills, and then we'll sneak down and uh, shoot a couple on the other side of the river, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Lots of birds up here. It's good. Hearing birds all day. No 1080 for a long time up this river. Bloody hell, it's not a 500 tonight, it's a Robbie, a blue, was that blue or green? Blue Robbie's come down here, far out. We've still got plenty of time before dark anyway, so hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully he hasn't scared all the deer away permanently. Dan's gone full retard, the rest of us are just half retard. Shoot it if it's an adult hind, eh? It'll have a fawn. It's a yearling, smoke it. I can't tell if it's a yearling or hind. Yeah, it's a yearling, smoke it. I'm rolling, bro, whenever you're ready. I don't know if you got him. You 
back out there to the right now. Don't know if you got him, eh? The old 303 is probably 100 years old, might be a little bit too far for it. It's a couple of hundred metres shot. Didn't hear a whack, so we think he missed it. Certainly scared the shit out of it. Oh, running around after the shot. What's that? Nah, why's that? Oh, I'll go get a bit of possum whacking. There, 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 there. Where, where? There, behind the tree, right in front of it. Go forward five metres. Alright. Get her on back, smokes. Get him. <laughs> oh, gold. <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting thirsty though. Bro, you're getting too old to go clubbing, eh? You've lost it. You've <laughs> not, oh, where's you've, my timber? You've lost <laughs> your skills, bro. Well, I'm going to do some guard. Oh, fucking How far? Hit it. Oh, really? Boom, whack. Oh, you heard a whack? Yeah, fucking hell. Well, maybe you did. Ah, you must have smoked it then. Oh, no, I lost your water, no. Yeah, we didn't hear a whack. We're like, oh, I don't know if he got it or not. <laughs> did you just have a crack with it? <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. Oh, we're just talking to Nick and he and Nick and John and they said when they heard the 303 go boom there was a big whack so a like a big oh, thump so we'll look at the footage and it certainly ran after he shot I just thought he scared the shit out of it but he might have knocked it over so we'll go and we'll go find it tomorrow and yeah get it so Nathan might not have done the walk of shame after all <laughs> Another great example of why 1080 doesn't need to be used. Heaps of birds up here, heaps of possums, heaps of deer. It's cranking. Why would you? Why would you just poison the country? Cause rat plagues, rats eat all the birds' eggs. It's a vicious circle, isn't it? Gonna get more now, yeah, I'd say. No, it's pretty, pretty careful. Oh. What's that stuff called? Uh, is it a fast hunt? Fast hunt? I think. <laughs> Good advertising, Josh. What's the stuff called again? We know it's Stony Creek. We can't remember exactly what it is. Bloody awesome. Though. I've got shirt and pants. Dan wears this shit religiously. What? Why is it so good? It's fucking light and it dries quick. It keeps the bugs off. It keeps the bugs off. Yeah, the bugs aren't attracted to it as much because it's camo. The thing I like about it is the massive zip up the front. You can unzip it all the way down, almost to your belly button, eh? Yep. And open it right up. It's got underarm zips on it too, hasn't it? No. Nah. No underarm zips. You just open the front right up. Whoa, look at that. So, you know, if you meet the hot German tramping girls up in the woods, you can show them your sexy, hairy chest. I don't think that's what it's designed for. I think it's actually meant to, to cool you down. It's got two big pockets on either side, so you can put your, I don't know, your aftershave in there and <laughs> your razor in the other. Bacon's also good. It's not bad. And eggs. One thing they need to fix, one, one con is the bouts aren't very good. The bouts are too thin and they fold and then they loosen up, they don't yeah. stay tight. So, yeah, look at that. If you get one of these bout pants, we'll send, chuck the bout out, get another bout. Hopefully they'll fix it. I've had words to them, but they haven't quite sorted that yet. But I think they will. They're pretty good at sorting stuff out. That's why they give shit to me to use. They'll say, nah, this is real good. Oh, this isn't so good. Fix it, and then they'll fix it. Ah, uh, yes, breakfast done. Packing up on the river. Didn't even paddle down there far out. Oh, let's zoom out a little bit there. There you go, Jackson Bay. Jackson Bay, we've just been up a river fishing, hunting. Dropped my GoPro on the river. Lost all of that footage. Got a little bit off this camera, but uh, 
it's going to be a short episode this one anyway welcome to Jackson Bay we're here for a couple of days we've uh, just knocked off work and we're about to go back to work again tomorrow morning we're not launching tonight we'll just come down to check out the ramp big tides at the moment it's super shallow and then uh, we're gonna head out tomorrow and go for a dive go for a fish Slow day on the water. My battery's about to go flat, so I don't know how much action you're going to get, guys. Might get a sea perch or two if you're lucky. Fight. Where's the big albatross coming and smash everyone who's out there? Yeah, yeah. Me. Whoa. Did he just swallow the whole thing? Yeah! Yeah, boy! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huge! It's a goodie, isn't it? Look at that! Solid! Merry Christmas! Woohoo! Ran into Geordie down there and he put us on to a secret crayfish bowl, which is pretty mean. That was another nice nature walk, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, good at them. These are weird, I've never used them before. I reckon dogs. Oh, you never use the biner holders. They take a while to get used to, but they're oh, great. Yeah, yeah, Having your biner handy. It's stinking hot. No wonder there's not any deer. They're all still sleeping because they're so hot. Someone else has been up here too. We saw some boot prints up there. Some Ashley boot prints. Size medium. Size 9 or 10. Yes. Anyway, good little walk. Can't shoot one every time. I say it is hard to make hunt. You guys have heard all that before. Excuses, excuses. Are. We cocked up. The wind got us. Someone's been up here. We should have gone upstream further, but we didn't. One was barking at us and we were having dinner actually. So there's one deer up there, but we scared him away. As Ziggy scared him away, she took off, probably chasing a hare, and then he cut the dog's scent and started barking. Bed time. Uh, what are you going to have for dinner tonight, Ziggy? Not bloody deer heart, eh? I have to go catch a possum or something. see it there but it does happen occasionally <laughs> damn it <laughs> 
pretty technical stuff. <laughs> so many sand flies. All right, it was great. This is where you fellas say that's what it's all about. It's not about shooting the deer, it's about getting out there and getting a wet ass and wet feet, getting eaten by sand flies, having a shit sleep, standing in the smoky campfire, getting up at the crack of dawn, going to bed way, way too late, and uh, generally just scratching and itching and being wet. <laughs> out, out there doing it. <laughs> out there doing it, yeah. Oh, got to go to Ali May's wedding tonight. It's going to be exhausting. Will Wilding's coming over. They wanted me to film the wedding, but I don't want to film the wedding. Might film a little bit for you fellas to see. No sharks yet. We come down to catch a shark down the beach. Nothing's biting. I don't actually have roof racks on my uterus, so I couldn't bring the kayak down. We're going to kayak a massive shark's head that out and put a big, huge, uh, not, uh, it's not shark's head, um, tuna head or kawa head. I've got a few of those in the freezer. We're going to kayak, start that again. We're going to kayak a, we were, bloody hell, Sunday, a bit hungover slightly. We were going to take three. We were going to kayak a big squash tuna head out there on a massive shark hook and use the Kilwell rod with the big uh, tiger eel and see if we get a massive shark with the black magic gimbal bow, big stand up setup. But uh, I don't have roof racks on my new uterus, so we couldn't bring the kayak down. We're gonna have to get some bloody roof racks. Yes. All right, at the beach, surf casting. Haven't done this in a while. With Dan the man, Sean and Chris. You're allowed one, aren't you? I guess so. Are they cold? Yep. Or? They oh, sure are. Ish. Oh man, it's going to fit into chili bin, bro. Put it on my beach. Cheers, lads. Cheers, 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 Cheers Shorty. Got a beer? Just out of the beach with Dan, Chris, and Sean from Wellington. Uh, here the dog. Had Ali May's wedding last night. Dude, that was a hundinger. Ali, uh, Ali and Gabe Newton. Cracker wedding down the local. Oh, here the dog. Pulled up a wee bit rough this morning. Got one of these little Daisy BB guns. They're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome toy for the kids. Good song. Hey Dad, why did you video the whole way? Because I was videoing you doing your awesome song. Now, can, Dad? Yeah? I know this song's going to happen, so that I don't want you to video that, uh, this song. Oh, not videoing this song? No. Alright, that end.